What's up guys? My name is Alex and we are back playing some more Witchcraft and Wizardry by the Flu Network. Oh, what's up dude? What's up? What's up? Hey, how's it going? Okay, I'm getting distracting. Sorry, I got I got things to do. Alright, we are going to press on the brick and we are going to leave the very cool Diagon Alley. And oh no. And we that's so cool, look at that. Beautifully done. And maybe we should put our wand away. Because we can't let the muggles know. Oh. Jeez, give me a give me a little frighten there, Hagrid. Uh, okay. He just has kind of a grumpy face on today. Uh, and now we have to exit Diagon Alley. Ooh. Sandwich? Toast? Ooh. That's nice. Pancakes, perhaps? And let's go. What do you guys like to have for breakfast? What are your breakfast? Do you like breakfast? I'm not always a breakfast person. Um, okay, and we are in central London. Ah, go to King's Cross. All right, cool. So, you guys may not know, but other than Vancouver, London is for sure my favorite place in the world. Love it. So, I uh, have had many excellent trips there, and uh, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of where we're at. So, this would be... This is the like monuments garden. So that means that when I was staying there a year ago, this isn't entirely, well, I mean, yeah, no, it's not, it's not. But basically um, my hotel that I stayed at was like right down the street. And then you'd come out of the hotel and you look down the end of the street. This isn't really, this isn't really, I mean, yeah. Uh, there's actually like a little, there's a little, oh, birds. There's a little side street. That's not the point. That's not the point. Actually, you know what? I was staying pretty much right where that is, except the street was like straight down, not like horizontal across. Um, but anyways, we have the big, beautiful church to our right, which is a beautiful rendering. We have the school that Helen and Bottom Carter actually went to um, when she was uh, a kid, right next to uh, the old... Uh, beautiful uh i don't know why i can't remember the name of it <laughs> i don't know why i can't remember the name of it i've been in there i've been inside of this um yeah <clears throat> and then you have parliament across the street is that what this is and then you see this is the monument garden and then you have the churchill statue on the corner right there that's churchill this is where a lot of the uh, big protests and stuff happen if you stay in london you stay in central london it's so busy here well this is all <clears throat> pre-covid obviously but uh, you get your Churchill statue here, and oh, pigeons, yep. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, Churchill apparently uh, did not like the idea of him having a statue that pigeons would sit on a poop on, and so they did something, I don't remember, they put like little spikes or something, I can't remember what it was, to prevent, I don't know if it's spikes, something to prevent the pigeons from pooping on him because he didn't like the idea of having a statue of him like that. But we have Parliament here, yeah, which looks a little bit different, but that's okay. And uh, there's a pub over here on the corner that if you are in central London and you need to go to the bathroom, uh, you've been drinking too much water as you're going for your walks, there is a bathroom. This is actually pretty accurate. You can like kind of come in this door. There's a door like right here. And if you go to the right, there is a bathroom there and it is the best one to use right in this area because it's so busy with tourists. I'm giving you guys a tour. You don't, you don't, you guys, you, you go, to, go to London, check it out. You'll see. You'll see. We got Big Ben, which is... Totally looks like it's that big IRL, legitimately. Totally is. You got some coffee shops. You got lots of tourist advertisements. If you want to uh, take the big bus tour, you can catch that over here. This is this is actually really, really well done. This is pretty much exactly what this looks like. You got uh, Scotland Yard right down there. You got uh, all the big government buildings in London, all the really like, you know, the big ones. I, I once stayed at a hotel right down the end of the street here. And um, I remember at, at night and in the day even, all the time, there'd be these huge helicopters, military helicopters, all types of helicopters coming across London and landing in this area. It's a really, really interesting neighborhood to walk through. So anyways, we're not, we're, we're not gonna get, they don't have, I don't think, well actually that is kind of like what, uh, so this goes Scotland Yard and it's like the military buildings and stuff. Um, anyways, that, we, 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 we digress, we digress. You can see if you walk down the street. 
But yeah, you gotta love London. It's a great city. Amazing history, amazing museums. And pigeons! And then you can go down there to catch the boat up if you want to go to uh, the Tower of London. Greenwich, you can catch a catch a little boat down the Thames. I actually never did that. I feel like I wish I had, but I didn't. You have the London Eye over here. Got the rest of Parliament over there. Is my render distance on long enough? Uh, yeah, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't need to have problems. It's it's going smoothly. I did not go into London Eye either. Just something in the idea of being trapped in a glass box for like 45 minutes kind of gives me the wiggins. Alright, so we're going down here, and I know that because I did see this little part in a YouTube video. That is quite a bit of a further walk than that just was, <laughs> IRL. Um, I think there's a museum, a war museum or something here. I think they're trying to tell us this is King's Cross, but I think it's actually more like over that direction. I think. I'm not sure. Me and Sleeping Guy took uh, this train station to get to Gatwick, I think. People are just enjoying their days. King's Cross, we are here. It's happening. We are, it's all happening. Are we just gonna, okay. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. We're going to platform nine and three quarters, please. Oh, we got lots of luggage. Oh, we gotta do it. Where is night platform nine and three quarters? Platform nine and three quarters? Think you're being funny, do you? Hmm. Yeah, you had to do it. Had to be done. Isn't there some kind of story where the guy that they used in that scene in the movie was actually like a train conductor who worked here at King's Cross? I don't know. Um, but it wasn't like an actor. Mm -hmm. Look like Maggie's missing this a little bit. McGonagall, uh, can you please tell me how to get on the platform? Not to worry. All you have to do is walk straight to the barrier between platforms 9 and 10. Don't stop and don't be scared to crash into it. That's very important. Best do it in a bit of a run if you're nervous. Alright, because I've seen these movies way too many times. Um, oh, okay, we can only talk to her. That's cool. Alright, <clears throat> let's do it. Ah! Okay, that wasn't good. Okay, let's, let's get a bit of a better run than that. Bye. We did the thing. This is this is. Can we go back? We can. Okay, cool. Just wanted to see. Just wanted to see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. I know. Okay. Run. Okay. Uh, just had to. We just had to know. You know. Ooh. It's a Pusk! Hello, little Puskin. You're so cute. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, you look familiar, hmm. Mr. Longbottom. Hmm. All right. Hmm. What are we doing? Toad. Oh, jeez. Okay, search the platform to find Neville's toad. Hmm. Hmm. My toad. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Uh. Okay, hmm. huh. we will do that in two seconds. Just hold your horses. We just need to find a freaking toad. And this will be a recurring theme I am sure that we're going to see over our next, what is it, eight years at Hogwarts? I feel like this would be a really stressful first day. Like, I can picture my first day of going to college and... I can imagine like going there and this random kid's like, dude, I lost my toad. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'll totally help you. Cause like, you know, that's, that sucks. But like, why'd you bring a toad to school? Like that's, that's probably not a good call there. Um, I, I did, I do remember seeing this on YouTube. I don't remember how they did it though. It's ended up there or something. Um, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll try to help you find it. Cause you know, I'm trying to be nice. And, ugh. and, uh, I'd be like looking around, stressed out, getting sweaty, tired, you know, like it would be quite a quite a process, I'm sure. 
Bleh. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm thinking like, are these kids like, are they messing with me? You know? Am I getting trolled here? By a toad? And then if I find the toad, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pick up a toad? Like, no, probably not. Oh, come on. What is the problem? I used to be really good at parkour. I think. It feels like... I need to be a little bit... Do we have to jump down there? Okay, that's clearly not doable. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't care about your toad, the word devil. I've, like, broken my leg, like, five times. Ha! Don't screw it up. Aha! Yeah, I'm really just not gonna pick up a toad like that. I'm totally random. Ah! <laughs> They're probably like, what on earth? Um, yeah. Can you imagine your first day at school? You pick up a toad. I thought that was Neville for a second. I was gonna be like, dude, you're still here, huh? We're actually uh, looking for a toad, were you? Yay! Now we can be best friends. Okay, let's get onto the platform. Um, which one do we have to be in? Does it matter? Did he say? Find an empty compartment. Cool. Um, okay. Nope. Yay! We're going to Hogwarts! Nope. Sudden stop. Alright, we have arrived. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Okay, speak to- oh, I'm gonna stop doing that. Speak to Hagrid. Did I fall asleep? Where is everyone? Where's Hagrid? Okay, it's a he's across the station? Why is it showing to me like that? Why is it showing to me on the right? Because I went through the wrong way. Ha ha! Follow me. Any more forced years? Mind your step now. Forced years, follow me. All right, lead the way. He's gonna just. Oh, okay. Let's go, Hagrid. <laughs> um, I don't want to race ahead of him because I don't want to get lost. You guys have seen me play other adventure maps, and you know. It's uh, it's not hard. Uh, it's not hard for me to get lost in things. Ooh, ooh, just a random chocolate frog in a box. So yeah, I'll just be eating that. We get to meet McGonagall. I think we all wish that Hogwarts was real in some way. I mean, even if you just go there for like a vacay, you know? <laughs> oh, it was, uh, it was cut short, was it? What happened, Hagrid? That's not getting that, okay, yeah. I won't ask, don't worry. Dude is telling us a lot of information. He's like, yeah, kind of got in trouble, but it was due to a sketchy past, but uh, don't ask me about it. Anyways, let's go. Follow me into the woods. <laughs> oh, stop pressing that. Ooh, some salt. Lovely. Come on, guys. There's no one else. Hagrid, there's nobody. It's just we're alone in the- oh. Yes. Just robbing them blind. <laughs> we're, just, uh, we're just alone. It's cool. I like the the walking animation. I think that looks. I think that looks neat. All right, let's go. Let's get one of them boats, and we'll be off to the castle. All right. I'm sorry. I know. Should not attempt a Bristolian accent. Oh. I should not even attempt it. My tea has gone cold. That's okay. It's beautiful.
Should we be turning the render up? Maybe we should. Explore the turrets and towers. Cover the mysteries of the castle and its grounds. All right. Yeah, that looks awesome. It looks awesome. It is the per this is the perfect thing to play out on a rainy, rainy winter day. Walk to the castle. All right. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna not probably. Uh... Ooh, the music is increasing. Don't ask me to find anything. I'm going right to the school. Nope, we're going. Oh. It's so cool. Dude, there's a lot of stairs. <laughs> I get tired of looking at this about of stairs. Whew. Get that core workout today. You know, one time I did walk up the Eiffel Tower. Fun fact. When I was like 15, I went with a school group to Paris. And, uh,. Yeah, we, uh, you know, it was collectively decided that it would be a better experience for us to all walk up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And so I walked up it. My totes got like tendonitis in my right ankle or something. I can't remember exactly what happened, but yeah. But I have done it. It's a lot of stairs. Huh? Oh. Ooh, elixir of life. That can only be a good thing. Now, should I be... Yeah, it's on bright, so yeah, okay. Easily to... Okay, great. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm not at the, this point in conversation, dude. I just got here, so... Um, yeah. Um, okay, maybe... Maybe I've gone the wrong way. There's that door, right? There's like the courtyard and there's a big door to the school. Is that where we should be going? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty good when you've seen the movies and you kind of recognize the layout and you go into a game and you just can kind of remember it and it's actually like that. Is that Begotical? Ooh. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we get to be sorted. I don't know what school we should be in. I feel like I'm a Ravenclaw. Like, that's usually the house that I get sorted into with all the online stuff. Mm -hmm. That being said, I obviously much prefer the Gryffindor common room. Because that's the whole thing. It's all about the common room. <laughs> it's not about the house. It's not about Harry Potter. It's about the... Uh, just in my chair, my squeaky chair. Um, it is about the common room. This is cool. Ooh, I don't know if it asks us. I don't know what to say. The issue was, as I know in the books, they, that all the houses were not fully described. And I know in the movies, they were not shown. All the houses, all the common rooms were not shown. So I know they kind of do some creative licensing with... Oh. Hmm. Uh. Oh my god, can you imagine? If you were like on your first day of school and you have to stand up in front of the whole school and you had to have a magical hat put on your head. Like and you're looking at everybody staring at you. This to me is like let's just have let's just have a total panic attack, you know? Like I'm li I'm lightheaded. I'm up here and I'm lightheaded personally. I'm like <sighs> okay, let's get it done. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Oh. Answer truthfully. Okay, that I can do. Cool. Ooh, already I don't know what to say. Okay, would you like to be known as the wise, the good, the great, or the bold? I feel like... Okay, let's discuss. <laughs> okay, the wise is awesome because I think the being wise is to show balance. Like, the good is also awesome because like you want to put positive energy on the world and that's a great thing um but you also want to be wise about the choices that you make and sometimes some people you know you need to separate from them and they may not say that you're good they might be like i don't know i was like, whatever we had some stupid little fight and then i just they just stopped talking to me but so you don't always want to be known as somebody who's always overly like that you know you have to be wise and 
know when to be good and you know when to not be bad um being bold no that's that's not for me i don't want to be known as the bold then that's it that's the only thing you know um known for jumping off cliffs yeah no thanks and the great absolutely not that's way too much pressure and certainly not something that i would ever seek so i'm gonna go with the wise okay Ooh, what do you most value freedom individuality tell me what you guys are gonna pick below by the way freedom individuality community or ambition <sighs> well I'm going to probably not say, okay, so S is down, S is, S is down, where's S, I, W, A, S, okay, I played on, <laughs> played on the W, A, S, D so much, I've like scratched it off my keyboard, um, okay, so freedom, I value freedom, of course, individuality, no, community, I value community because I am an anthropology major in school and I know the value of community, ambition, I can absolutely appreciate people who are ambitious. Um, doesn't necessarily have to mean like for things that are negative. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say, do I most value ambition in a person? No. Do I most, I probably most value, I mean, again, being an anthropology major, I recognize that without community, like we are a social you know we are social beings regardless of anything else so we rely on going to a grocery store and having somebody not be a jerk to us you know like community at the end of the day means something um but i also appreciate individuality where somebody doesn't need to rely on but you at the end of the day again you need to go to the grocery store sometimes you're gonna get a stomach ache you need to find a bathroom and you need someone who's not going to be rude to you that's community you know I'm going to go community, even though I personally, um, you know, like, I, I personally, I don't know. What do I most value? Let's go community. Let's just, let's just stop. We're overthinking it. We're overthinking it. Let's go community. Okay. Which find do you most hate people to call you? Ordinary, ignorant. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, sh I should, pff -ha, pff -ha. Yeah. That, I don't like that word. You know, it's just not a very nice word. I never would say that to anybody else. I don't like it being said to myself. Call me any of those other things all day long. It doesn't, but that is like, hashtag triggered. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, give them choices you'd rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, or power. Wisdom for sure, because with wisdom comes like the wisdom to know that there's more in life then power, glory, or love. I mean, okay, yeah, like love, love's, love is, you know, is epic, but is it sufficient for every single thing in life? You know, no. So let's go wisdom. See, I think, I think I'm going to be right with law. <laughs> Which is the one you find most difficult to deal with? Punishment, loneliness, boredom, or being ignored? Well, let's go with punishment, I guess, because loneliness, I don't really get lonely. I'm a gamer, you know? I don't get lonely really ever. I got my YouTube boredom. Again, I'm really never bored being ignored. I don't even know what that even means. So let's go with punishment. Would you rather be trusted, liked, imitated, praised, envied? What should you rather be? Probably trusted. Let me think. I better put you in Ravenclaw. See, I'm always Ravenclaw. Whatever. <laughs> That's cool though. Cause like, you know, whatever. <sighs> Let the beast begin. Oh, okay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to leave it here after this little scene. Oh, look at the foods. This is the greatest thing. So in the book, because um, you feel like if they could just magic food, ha, you know, let's feed the world or whatever. But no, actually, they don't. What is actually happening in the food, if you did not know, is I'm sure you already know. But in case you didn't know or you missed that part in the book, um, there are actually uh, little dudes below us and they actually prepare the food in the in the kitchens We learned that about Dobby and the kitchen staff and stuff um, The house elves and they actually make all this stuff and then they magic it up. It's magic up I don't know if they magic it up, but it's magic up um, Here for everyone to eat. So it's not like they just poof food and then they can feed the globe Anyways, all right. Well, we're going to go speak with the prefect of our house We're going to go see our what our house our house the common room looks like and um yeah we didn't get into gryffindor but you know what it's just it wasn't in the cards it's just it's, some, it's just always rapeclaw but that's cool because that's just who i am that's just 
it's just nothing I'd want to do about it. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below which house you are in, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later! Bye-bye!